the external aggression that Putin regime was engaging in as a direct continuation of the domestic repression that has been engaging in inside of Russia for many, many years. And there's no reason why a government that disrespects its own citizens and that breaks its own laws should then abide by international norms and respect the interests of other countries. It's just not going to, and we have seen that it has not. But also it's very important to, to, to emphasize that the foreign policy of Vladimir Putin's regime is in many ways uh, oriented for propaganda consumption and for domestic political goals. This aggression uh, and this isolation and this uh, besieged fortress image that he has tried to create for Russia, they all help the state-run propaganda machine to present you know, Russia as being encircled by enemies who wish us harm and Putin as this you know, great leader who's trying to defend our national interests, which of course has nothing to do with reality. When Putin came to power, Russia was a member of the G8, the most respected uh, international club of world leaders. Now, Russia is not only expelled from the G8, but we also have sanctions introduced against our country on the part of Iran and North Korea, two world regimes. That, in my view, is not in line with Russian national interests. But his foreign policy aggression, whether in Georgia or Ukraine or Syria allows the domestic propaganda machine that is run by the Kremlin to present Russia as being besieged by enemies and therefore to say that there is a need for such a strong authoritarian leader who will defend us against external enemies. And by the way, this also gives the regime a pretext to accuse anyone, anyone in Russia who opposes Vladimir Putin as a fifth column, as a foreign agent, as, as an enemy of the country. And they have been doing it for years and years. I mean, there's nothing new in this. They didn't invent this. This is a classic ploy by autocratic and dictatorial regimes. They use aggressive foreign policy as a means to the end in terms of their domestic propaganda. But I think, given that this is how it is, it's very important that the political leaders in Western countries are very careful not to equate Russia with the Putin regime. Because if they do that, that plays directly into the hands of the Putin propaganda and allows Putin's propaganda to present the West as being anti-Russian as opposed to opposed to reactions to the Putin regime. This is very important. And for example, when sanctions are introduced, whether in the European Union or in the United States, it is very important that people don't talk about them as being directed against Russia as a country or the people of Russia as a people. Uh, it should be made clear that these are sanctions against the Kremlin, against the actions of the Kremlin, and that there is no equation between Russia and the regime of Vladimir Putin, because as we discussed a minute ago, we have not had free elections in our country for more than 17 years. This regime, the Vladimir Putin regime, is not a product of a free choice of the Russian people. It has no democratic mandate from the Russian people. And don't put this equality mark between a small group of unelected autocrats in the Kremlin and the people of Russia.